Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about signs in acute appendicitis. And um, acute appendicitis is basically inflammation of the appendix. And the signs I'm going to be talking about is um, what kind of pain you experience in acute appendicitis, McBurney sign, Bloomberg sign, Rosings, Baldwin, Scope Soas, Obturator, and Tumphy sign, and some other signs. Um, basically um they have all of these names a lot of names in all these signs the signs are not very hard to remember but the names are so uh, i'm gonna tell you what i think of and uh, what are my memory aids to remember these signs and um, hopefully it will help you as well okay so let's get started um pain in acute appendicitis is um first it is um in the umbilicus and then it localizes to the right iliac fossa so then it comes over here and um, this is because when um, the appendix first gets inflamed there is a generalized visceral pain which is referred to the appendix but when um, there is more inflammation going on the uh, uh, appendix it um, actually involves the parietal peritoneum as well and this causes the localization of um, the pain in the right iliac fossa. And um, if suppose your pain starts spreading and kind of becomes very severe, you're going to think of um, peritonitis due to perforation. So um, that is all about pain. Um, the second um, sign is very easy. Um, McBurney sign and um, it is um, tenderness in the McBurney's point. McBurney's point is um, between the spinal umbilical line. This is the anterior uh, superior iliac spine and this is the umbilicus. So McBurney's sign uh, point is uh, between two thirds and one third out here. Tenderness out here is known as a uh, McBurney sign and um, I don't have a mnemonic for this because I think we've been learning about McBurney's sign since like forever at least in my course Bloomberg's sign um, Bloomberg's sign is also known as Bloomberg's uh, release sign and this is when you kind of um, super, uh, slowly palpate the abdomen and you go deep and then when suddenly you release your fingers there is pain elicited in the patient and this is known as Bloomberg's release sign um, the way I remember this is kind of very funny um, I think of a flower and when it's uh, when you're deep and you've um, you know held your hand or if you're a bud um, you uh, have no pain and uh, when you release uh, you become a flower and you bloom so um, release causes bloom Bloomberg's release sign it's really weird but I just think of that I think of a flower who um, blooms I don't know why. Rosing sign is very interesting. Um, suppose this is your abdomen and uh, here's your liver, spleen, whatever. Uh, here's your um, cecum and appendix. And uh, yeah, these. this is your entire um, colon. Okay. So this is the right side, this is the left side. Now, um, if you start palpating, from the left iliac fossa and you go anti-clockwise uh, around the um, colon so uh, it kind of pushes all your bowel contents towards the appendix and um, this irritates the already inflamed appendix and this causes pain and um, this is a rosing sign and a rosing does, a, does have a row and um, I kind of think of row Row, row your boat across the ocean and um, in this uh, you're rowing your bowels across the abdomen which causes pain so 
row boat, row bubble, row sing sign. That's how I remember. Um, yeah, Baldwin sign. Another interesting sign. Um, you. This is your patient lying down, and um, here's your appendix, suppose. And when you ask the patient to, um, actually, this is only seen in retrocecal appendix, by the way. So, um, when the legs are lifted off about the bed, the uh, patient complains of pain in the flanks, and this is known as Baldwin sign and um, bald wings kind of has wings in it so i think of wings and um, bar reminds me of a bat okay and um, bats they kind of characteristically you know they hang upside down it's something that bats do if you've seen batman you would know or if you've seen a bat in a cave so um well, the way I remember this is, you're trying to lift the patient's leg and you're trying to hang him upside down like a bat. So, bat reminds you of wings and bar reminds you of bald. So, bald wings sign. Mm. Weird associations, really weird associations. Blooming flowers, rowing a boat across the abdomen. Batman and bald wings. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> but whatever helps you. Uh, the two other tests I want to cover is Cope's Zoas test and Obturator's test. And, um, well, if you hyperextend the leg, it causes pain. So, this is known as Zoas test. And um, inter uh, when you internally rotate the um, uh, hip joint, this causes pain. And uh, this is due to ob uh, irritation of the obturator internus muscle. So those are two signs which are elicited because of irritation of the muscles. Okay. Um, then you have uh, PR tenderness. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when you, um, if there's a retrocecal appendix, this is your cecum and this is your appendix. When you are trying to palpate the patient, the 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 classical signs of uh, point tenderness are not elicited and this is because the cecum is actually filled with a lot of gas and this is not um, um, what do you call transmit the pressure to the inflamed appendix and there are no classical signs so in this case a uh, pearl rectum examination will cause uh, tenderness in the right side and thank god it does not have a name or if it does and I don't know about it <laughs> and then there is a Dumfries cuff sign when you ask the patient to cough uh, it causes um, tenderness in the McBurney's point so you can remember Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty cuffed and had a fall because of the pain in the McBurney's point uh, that's all um, I'm gonna do a quick revision pain you're going to talk about the umbilical pain and the localization to the right iliac fossa and uh, if it becomes uh, severe and generalized you're going to think of peritonitis due to perforation of the appendix McBurney sign is point tenderness at the McBurney's point Bloomberg's release sign is when you deep palpate and then you release your hands it causes pain and you're going to remember of the um, bud which has not released and when it releases itself, it becomes a flower and it blooms. A rosing sign is when you start palpating in the left iliac fossa and you go anticlockwise, uh, palpating the entire colon, and that kind of um, pushes all the bowel contents towards the right iliac fossa, and that causes um, pain. And you're going to think about rowing a boat across the ocean or the abdomen, and um, rosing sign. And bald wings is when you ask the patient to lift up their legs. Um, there is um, pain in the um, pain in the flanks, and you're gonna think of wings and bats and bats that 
hang upside down. Cope's was an obturator test, very easy to remember due to irritation of the muscles. Um, this is hyperextension and this is due to internal rotation at the hip joint. And poor rectum tenderness is due to the retrocecal appendix and Dumpy's cuff sign is Humpty Dumpty cuffed on a wall. <laughs> so the um, cuffing causes um, pain in the McBurney's point. That is all. Um, there are many other signs, but I've covered only these nine signs. Um, I hope this helped and stay awesome.